So for step 17, attaching the rear bumper. Well, this will be fairly simple. We've got two screws, these MB1 tapping screws, and then we have this little guy, which is the bumper. It's on the M parts tree, so it is a softer plastic, but the screws should be going through the softer plastic and into the harder plastic. So it um, you should know the end point when you get to it. But anyways, I'll set this up and we'll attach the bumper. So to attach the bumper, it's pretty easy. You can see that inside the chassis, there is a hole there, which this now slides in between. Which here, I'll turn it over just so you can see it better. That is going to slide into there and the two screws are going to go into here. So I will grab one of them right now and we'll screw that in. And again, I'm not going to go all the way yet. I want to get the other screw in there first, make sure that it's going in okay, it's not binding. And it is, so I can actually screw this all the way in now. And again, you're going to know when you get to the end because it is going into the harder plastic. So it's going through the softer plastic bumper and going into the harder plastic, which means you're going to get a nice tight fit and you're going to know. So you shouldn't have any issues with stripping things out. So that's good. So there is our rear bumper in place. Very cool. So that is it for step 17. So now we're going to move on to step 18 and start working on the sub deck. So for step 18, the sub deck, the sub deck's essentially the front half of the chassis because this is going to end up attaching to the rear half uh, when you slide this together. So for starters, there's this piece here that they want you to add on to the front and then we have this piece here that has to go on so there are all of the screws and there's your sub deck uh, that other piece that's going to go on the front and then the other part that goes onto the center of that so i'll set this up and we'll put this together so first off let's grab the sub deck and we'll put this piece on which ultimately is gonna go there, 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 and there. And you can see that that's not only gonna fit, but it actually pretty much um, has an already an indentation on two of those screw holes, which means it pretty much just fits into place. So we will screw these in. So we've got one down there. And we'll screw that in there. And I'm not going to go all the way. I just want to make sure that it fits properly first. Same thing on that side. And then we've got two more, which will fit down here. Just like that. And one on the other side. Okay, so now that they're all in, I will start screwing these down all the way. And because we're going from hard plastic to hard plastic, we know we're gonna be at the end. You don't have to worry too much about it stripping out. You'll notice that pretty much as soon as it gets to the end, it grabs. So same thing on this one. In and last one. In. So there we go. There's that piece in place. So now we just need to put on this box piece. So you can see that in terms of it, the way it's got to fit, they do show 
this piece there would be something you'd want to remove, which basically is off the parts tree. Just want to make sure that's cleared up. And that is going to end up sitting just like that over top. So we just have the two screws that are going to go there and that's going to fit just like that. So I will grab that screw, make sure that fits on nice. There we go. And grab the other side. Just like that. Well, now that, now that they're both in, I'm just going to screw this in into place. There we go. We're right at the end. And again, same idea. And it's right at the end. So there we go. There is our sub deck with those two pieces attached. So step 18 is complete. So now we're going to move on to step 19 and attach the front upper arms.